All right, man, Torture Talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page, man. Good afternoon, 12 o'clock show. I know y'all was railing about this morning, man. I ain't gonna lie. That was a long show, but it was good. Thank y'all for watching. Appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of y'all probably disagreed. I know a lot of y'all probably agreed. But hey, man, that's what we're here for. So today, we're gonna continue this coverage, and we're gonna go to Dr. Umar talking about Jay-Z and uh, Diddy and all this stuff. This is the 12 o'clock show. Before I get into that, you know, this is Torture Talk. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. All the beautiful, sexy ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. Just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content. It's absolutely free. But if you're new here and you want to leave a donation, links on the screen, cash app, PayPal's in the description. Also, if you're new here, let me work for your subscription today. That would be pretty nice if you subscribed and hit that like button. Let me know where you're from on your way in, on your way out. Hit the like button. <laughs> yeah, man. And um, yeah, they called me the Hidden Gym. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 11,000. And I'm trying to help other people get there too because it's all about sharing is caring. Money, money, money. We all going to make money together. So if you want me to promote your channel, you know what I'm saying? Hit me up on the Cash App. You can send a dollar. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? If you if you only want to send a dollar, that's cool. Say, hey, man, can you promote my channel? And I'll put you up. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be all right. So, look, man, let's get to it, man. Let's see what Dr. Umar is saying. All right, so let's see what Dr. Umar is saying. Let's go. <laughs> Pretty dope logo. And you heard about that Super Bowl situation between Lil Wayne and Kendrick. How you feel about that? Kendrick and Lil Wayne. Some people have asserted that Cameron and Mace subliminally suggested, and others, that Sean Carter is the reason Lil Wayne is not performing at the Super Bowl in his hometown of New Orleans. I believe it may be true, but I cannot prove it. Here's where I stand. Kendrick has a right to perform if he's being invited. I cannot fault Kendrick for accepting an invitation of that magnitude. If Jay-Z is responsible for the decision, I will say to Jay-Z, and we've met before many years ago, I would say to Jay-Z, you're wrong. You are wrong. Lil Wayne is an aging artist, and he's one of the greatest of modern time. Okay, so I thought this was the one with Jay-Z. Uh, this is a different one, actually. Um, but I'm going to do both. <clears throat> I mean, this will be one. So this one will be about what he's saying about uh, if Jay-Z was wrong for putting Kendrick over there. So, you know what I'm saying? Excuse the beginning. I'm sorry. I ain't going to start it over. I'm just going to go with this one. Um, and this one I wanted to do anyway, too. So the other one probably will come out, uh, come out uh, maybe tomorrow or something. I'll, I'll look for it. But let's just go with this one today. How do I feel about this coming from him? I, I mean, Umar is Umar. It is what it is. But... It don't change nothing for me. I understand what people's sentiment and how they feel that Luna Wayne should have had the slot in this, it's his city, you know. No, no. It's not how this works. You know what I'm saying? Because, I, and I'll be honest with y'all, I really think that if there was a different artist, like let's just say he picked, uh, I don't know, let's say he picked Bruno Mars. I don't think nobody would have cared. I don't think nobody would have cared. I don't think nobody would have cared. That I just think the fact that it's another rapper. Now, let's be clear here. This is, right? This is the first ever solo act of a rapper being on the Super Bowl halftime show. Jay-Z could have took this for himself. He could have took this for himself. But what did he do? He gave it to somebody else. Let's be honest. Do y'all think that the first ever rapper that should be on the Super Bowl should be Lil Wayne? 
The first ever rapper. Forget the city part. Because that doesn't matter. Because obviously it don't matter because there were other artists that never performed in their city on the Super Bowl. It only happened once, but everybody else was different. People from other countries. But let's be clear here. Y'all think that Lil Wayne should supersede every rapper. There's people that's still alive. Jay-Z, Nas, Eminem, right? Those three guys, top legends, super legends. You're telling me that you believe the first ever rapper should be Lil Wayne on that stage. The first ever rapper ever to do a Super Bowl should be Lil Wayne. That's that's garbage. I'm honest about it. I 100% would have took Kendrick Lamar over Lil Wayne because he is of what's now. The time is now. Lil Wayne can do a Super Bowl next year, year after that, whatever. And some people will say, well, Kendrick could do that. No. Kendrick has the momentum. He has been doing something from 2004, 2000, uh, 2024, all the way until the Super Bowl. Let's be clear here. Lil Wayne hasn't dropped anything of any significance in the last five or uh, four years, three years. Kendrick Lamar has already lapped him already. For him to say this based off of he believed that it's because it's his city, I'm hoping that he going to say that. Well, let's just see what he says. Is he a Negro pen? Yes. Does he engage in coonish behavior? Absolutely. Have I ever seen him take up and speak up for black people? Never. Politically? That's a lie. That's a lie. I definitely see Lil Wayne. If you talk about Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne never took up for black people? That's a lie. That's a complete lie. And what is taking up for black people to some of y'all? Some of y'all is taking up for black people is, is, is going along with one party. That's what y'all believe taking up for black people is. How is that taking up for black people if he disagree with the party the, of that other party? I know that the one thing he said that a lot of people hold on to is he said he never experienced racism before. That's what a lot of people were saying. But Jake tried to twist that into saying that he said that there's no racism going on. He just said he never experienced it. But that's another story. He's an ingrate. But if I'm sticking strictly to hip hop, he has a right to perform at that Super Bowl. Sean Carter should see to it. Little Wayne, excuse me, Kendrick Lamar is not wrong for accepting the invitation. And this is what I would say to Kendrick. I would challenge Kendrick to bring Lil Wayne out. That's how you kill two birds with one stone. My brother Kendrick Lamar, if you're listening to me, bring Lil Wayne out, brother. Do your thing and then bring Lil Wayne out. I don't care if it's for one song or two. I don't care if y'all need to make a song together and perform it. The best thing that could happen at that Super Bowl which I don't support because the NFL don't give a damn about black people. And Colin Kaepernick is still not reinstated in the NFL. Colin Kaepernick, <laughs> bro, this is a crazy, this is a crazy John, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. I like Umar, but there's certain things he say that just way out of line. Like, bro, Colin Kaepernick ain't reinstated because of him. It has nothing to do with him because he's black. There's nothing to do with that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Nothing to do with that because it, it, he's not reinstated because of him. You know what I'm saying? That's number one. Number two, you know what I'm saying? I would beg to differ if you say the NFL don't care about black people, but most of the players are black. Now, I know a lot of y'all going to say, well, that doesn't mean that they care. No, what y'all want it to be is the whole NFL be black, even the owners. That's what some of y'all would say. A lot of y'all would argue with me that the NFL don't care about black people because there's no black owners. But the black players, if the black players was to stop playing, the NFL would not exist. Period. I'm just being clear. So the, the players have the power, 
even though the owners have the ownership, the players still have the power. If they wanted to go on strike, they one person, Colin Kaepernick, he took a knee. When he took a knee and, and everybody started doing that, they made the NFL bend and fold. But then he did some other shit and took a deal or some shit and everything changed. But still in all, if the players wanted to stop the NFL, the NBA, whatever, they can. They can. But they don't. So when he says the NFL don't care about black people, I have a huge problem with that. Because if that's the case, then why are black players still playing for the NFL? If they know, if they know for sure that they don't care about them. And on top of that, you got a black man running a halftime show. Okay, again, you're saying the NFL don't care about black people? So Jay-Z's runs the halftime show. Every artist that he put on for the last five years were black. How is that not? <laughs> so the NFL still don't care about black people? What do you want them to do? What is your measurement of caring? That's what I need to understand because you, 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 y'all be making these assertions, but then y'all not making no sense. What are we talking about? Are we talking about just ownership? Oh, but we need black owners of the NFL. That's the argument that y'all could come up with. Outside of that, the owners could own the NFL, but the players is what make the go the game go. If the players felt as though they ain't getting treated right, they could all quit. And there won't be no more NFL. They'll try to, you know, spin it, but the black athletes is what make it happen. But the best thing that could happen for hip-hop justice at the Super Bowl is for Kendrick Lamar to bring out Lil Wayne. I think that satisfies everyone around the round table. And if Jay-Z is responsible for this, Jay-Z is wrong. Unless Lil Wayne is guilty of doing something against Sean Carter behind his back. Now, if that is the case, Sean Carter is justified. Because from what I understand... I don't agree with that either. If Lil Wayne did something behind Jay-Z's back... I don't think that that's a reason for Jay-Z not to put him on the Super Bowl. If, if, if we're talking just business, if Lil Wayne, let's be honest, let's be clear here. If Lil Wayne in the last year or two, let's say the last year, Lil Wayne was, he put out an album, he, he had the best song, he did this, he did that, he did this and did that, and then they picked Kendrick and Kendrick ain't do nothing. Let's just say Kendrick Lamar ain't dropped nothing. He just say, let's just flip reverse, uh, flip the, the roles. Let's put uh, uh, Lil Wayne and then Kendrick in the same different roles. One role, this is the role that, you know what I'm talking about. Reverse, uh, you know what I'm saying? Let's just reverse it. And um, you got Kendrick who ain't really been doing nothing. Then you got Lil Wayne who's been doing all this stuff and he's putting, dropping features and, and, and he dissed this person and he did all this and he made the, one of the best diss songs of all time. And then they picked Kendrick. I would feel some type of way about it. Cause I'd be like, well, damn, Kendrick hasn't done nothing in two years. How's he getting this, this, this slot? Lil Wayne was doing his thing, but that's not how it happened. So I think this is a business move. What's better for business? Is it better for business to have Lil Wayne perform on the Super Bowl? Yeah, in some cases it might, but what's actually bigger? When you have a guy who's on the Super Bowl, who's gonna do something, you know it's gonna, basically change something and he's very active and on top of that he's the best of this generation Lil Wayne's not of this generation now I agree with Umar when he's saying that maybe he should bring him out I think that that would be huge if he did bring him out but who knows I personally think he's gonna bring him out I think he's gonna bring him out because they're in his they're in his in his city of course he's gonna bring him out that's what I'm thinking if he don't bring him out, it's going to be something big of why he didn't do it. But who knows? And he has done some good things to help Lil Wayne out in his private life. He helped him get his master's, allegedly. He helped him clear out some debt, allegedly. Sean Carter has helped Lil Wayne. But that still does not absolve him of responsibility for denying him the opportunity 
to perform at the Super Bowl in front of his hometown. That's actually does. It actually does. Be honest with you, because he ain't got nothing to do. That's what that's what it is. A lot of y'all think that Lil Wayne can perform all these old songs from 20 years ago, 15 years ago. Nobody's going to know about that. Not to say they ain't, but nobody's really going to know. <laughs> I'll be honest with y'all. And a lot of them stuff, man, I don't think he's even cleared anymore to do. You know what I'm saying? So who knows? And and I'm going off the last performance I seen Lil Wayne at, uh, I think it was at the, uh, what's the name? Uh, WrestleMania. He did terrible. Still doesn't let him off the hook unless Lil Wayne did something to slight Jay-Z, in which case I could potentially understand what he did. But the thing is, Art, and this goes to us as black men in general, we have to make decisions based on what's best for our people. We can't make decisions based on what's best for our ego. Not saying Sean Carter did this, but if he did, hypothetically, if Jay-Z made this call, Art, my question to Jay-Z would be, why didn't you consider the black community of New Orleans? Why uh, and, I, and again, this is, this is you, you, like, he's about to drive the car off the cliff on this one. How are you, my thing is like, how are y'all talking about black people being together, but then in the same breath, you're separating black people. How, the black people in New Orleans is different from black people in Cali? Oh no. How is that different? I thought we were all black. I thought that we were all supposed to be together. I thought no matter what happens, you so, you supposed to support whoever this artist is. No one doesn't supersede the other. I don't understand it because y'all didn't have the same smoke for a lot of other uh, people who performed in these other um, these other Super Bowls that wasn't from the city. That doesn't make any sense. It's like, OK, now you want to separate black people and put them in city categories. The, the blacks of New Orleans. I thought they were black. Right. According to you, everybody's supposed to be together. So why can't they just support that Kendrick's doing the Super Bowl? Like, yeah, there's another black man doing it, right? That's what you, that's, that's your position. But it has to be Lil Wayne. Why? Why does it have to be Lil Wayne? Because it's his city? Oh, well. Why didn't you consider the brothers and sisters who are down there? I mean, first of all, Art, what do we know about the NFL? They don't advertise with black people. They don't. What? What do you mean they don't advertise with black people? Most of the black, that's crazy. I'm not even in the NFL. I'm not into the NFL like that. And I know that's garbage. They don't advertise with black people. The biggest advertisement for the Super Bowl is the halftime show. And it's ran by a black man. <laughs> what the fuck? What are you talking about? The biggest, the biggest, the biggest thing at the Super Bowl is ran by a black man. That is the most advertisement you can, you can put. You think that hip hop music is big. It was big before the Super Bowl. I would question, I would even argue that it probably didn't even need it. But you think that if Kendrick or whoever gets on that stage, that they ain't going to gain at least a hundred million more people looking at them? I don't, I don't understand that argument. I just don't understand that argument. They don't advertise with black people. They got a black man running the whole thing. Don't guarantee black participation in the NFL revenue. So black people in New Orleans are not. What do you mean that there's no guarantee with the black people? Uh, 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 what do you say? Hold up. Let me run that back. What? Advertise with black people. They don't guarantee black participation in the NFL revenue. So I don't know what that even means. Maybe he's saying something that I don't know. I understand his words, but I don't get where, how that correlates to anybody. I don't understand. Maybe he's saying something. I don't think I don't think nobody gets paid for the for the halftime show. I think I think that promoting themselves is actually them promoting you all over TV is, is um 
the payment. Black people in New Orleans are not going to get none of the marketing money. Black people in New Orleans are not going to get un any of the vendor money. Wait a minute, bro. Wait a minute. Now you're all over the place. First of all, what are you saying? I don't think the NFL gives anybody none of the money when they go to the cities. I don't, I don't even understand that. I don't even know. I honestly, don't, I honestly don't see how they don't get no money if they're having the Super Bowl in their state. I mean, in their, in their, in their city, and the government, the local government, doesn't take none of that money. That's from the stadium. It goes only goes. It goes straight to the NFL. So every so all the proceeds, all the dollars that all the people coming in paying for those seats, that doesn't help the city at all. I don't know. I'm asking. Maybe somebody in the comments know more about it than me. Maybe he know more about it than me. I don't know. I just don't know if that's true or not. I have no clue about that. All of the NFL traffic is going to be pushed to the white stores. You know this. Oh, man. Come on, man. Now you bugging the fuck out, nigga. Now you bugging the fuck out. Now you're bugging, bro. Now you're, now you're, now, now you're speculating now. Now you're speculating. All the all of the NFL traffic is going to be pushed to the white stores. What? <laughs> what white stores? What? Where, I don't know if you ever been to New Orleans. What white stores? It's specifically for the white stores that everybody's going to go to 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 eat. I would argue that if they're going to eat, it ain't at the white stores. I'm telling you right now, and 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 and. I think I think New Orleans is totally different from what you're saying. I think that their culture, the whites and the blacks are much more integrated than than these these big cities. That's what I'm thinking. If Lou if Lou Wayne said he never experienced racism growing up and he was a white was a cop who saved his life and all this a white cop and all this stuff, I don't know, maybe he's right about that. But I don't know what Umar's going with that. I don't know. And I'm not saying that there's no racism in, in New Orleans. I'm not saying that. I'm just going off what he said. You know, wherever the Super Bowl is, they cut black people out. So my thing to Jay-Z is after all our brothers and sisters in New Orleans have been through since Hurricane Katrina, were you thinking about them and their pride and their integrity when you decided to slight Lil Wayne? One of the things... Why do y'all take it as a slight, though? If, it's, if, if he's a black man... Even he plays into this too. This is what I'm saying. Like a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all, man, y'all a bunch of frauds. Like even he's playing into it too. He's the, his whole thing is black people, black power, black people should be on top. And then soon as a black man gets a, a, a be a part of history, now he's not good enough. It has to be another black man. And it's like, wait, aren't we all together? That's what you're saying. We're all together in this. So people should appreciate it that he, you know, that he's on that stage. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. Who knows? Next year, I believe it's supposed to be in, in L.A. or in California. Lil Wayne might do it next year in Cali. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? As I try to do art, even when I'm dealing with my haters, bro, I encourage you to do this, is you got to look beyond the hater and look at all the people the hater represents. And you got to say, even though this one man might be against me, his whole community is not. For example, I got haters inside the Morris Science Temples of America, right? But most of the Morris Science Temples of America members, they cool with Dr. Umar. We all right. So I'm not going to say none of y'all could come into my school. Because those two over there are diehard haters. I got haters in the nation of Islam, but most people in the nation of Islam are cool with Dr. Umar. But I'm not going to say y'all can't come inside my school because him and him are diehard haters of mine. I got haters in the guys and earths. I got haters in the Nawa. Every community in black consciousness has a few anti-Dr. Umar people. Now, again... That could be something that you experience. I don't know, but I do know that just because someone disagrees with you doesn't make them a hater. So if somebody disagrees with you, Umar, they don't make them a hater. It's not that they're hating on you, bro. Some people just disagree with your take. That's it. 
but you take it as if people were hating on you. Maybe, maybe that's what you're saying, or maybe you're not saying that. I'm saying for me, I, I like a lot of stuff you say, and I just disagree with a lot of stuff you say. I don't want to consider myself a hater. But I can't slight a whole community art because of the actions of a few. But you do and that if all Jay the time, bro. You do that with white people all the time, bro. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> you do that with white people all the time, bro. You really do. You, 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 this, you even say you got, you got to suffer from the sins of your fathers, bro. You say, I heard you say that somewhere. Don't, don't do that. Don't sit here and act as if like you don't slight people. You slight a whole race of people because of somebody. And I know people going to jump in. Well, he talking about black people. He talking about black people. Well, it don't matter. Everybody ain't the same. And you can't hate everybody because of what two people did. He just said that out of his mouth. Z is responsible for this, and I don't know if he is. I don't see how he couldn't at least be partially responsible because somebody said the hosting city and the NFL commissioner has the final say. That might be true, but Jay-Z has a contract with the NFL that involves Super Bowl entertainment. So nobody's going to convince me that Sean Carter could not have forced his will if he really wanted to. Now, I, now, I'm going to tag him in this. Y'all could all go watch the rest of the show. Yeah, man. I don't know about that. You know what I'm saying? Now, as far as him saying about, about Jay um, forcing his will and all this stuff, I understand where he's coming, coming from. But, again, you can't really blame Jay if there's a collective of people and they say, well, who's, who's the hottest thing going right now? What, 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 act, would be, what act would be good? to put somebody on stage. And they say, well, it has to be Kendrick Lamar. And history says that Kendrick Lamar is going to do good. And on top of that, people are gonna love it. I think a lot of people are mad, and I'm gonna be honest with y'all, ain't really mad because Lil Wayne not performing. They mad because they're not performing. They're mad because if Lil Wayne was to do it, he would have brought them out. Now, again, Lil Wayne literally said out his mouth. If I was to perform at the Super Bowl, I'm bringing nobody out. I'm taking that dolo. He literally said that. So all the juveniles and all the uh, Nicki Minaj's and all these other all these other people that claim that oh they're not even claim but they don't think they claim that. But all these people that believe that they got the suit, they gonna get a shot. Nah, he said he wouldn't do it. But I'm glad they. I'm glad Kendrick got chose. That's that. You know what I'm saying? And people could hate it if they want. But anyway, I'm out of here, man. You know what I'm saying? 12 o'clock show is over. 6 o'clock show coming up. I'll see y'all, man. Y'all have a good afternoon, man. Peace. Bye. <laughs>